Did something just come and try to attack me there? Oh yeah, here we go. I know what a blue rupee does, thank you. I know what it is. It's not like I haven't received one before. Just because I haven't received one in this current, you know, instance of having started the game doesn't mean I don't know what a bloody blue rupee is. I need to be reminded every time. Um, but anyway, I guess we'll just continue along through here. Hopefully, get something done. Uh, that's a... Oh, we do have a key. Okay. I was about to say, locked a door, what do we do? I said locked very strangely there, but you knew what I said. Kind of. Maybe? A little bit. Don't lie to me. Anyway. Um, let's lift a few rocks. I just have a compulsion to lift any rocks that I see. But uh, I'm going to break that compulsion now, because I only lifted one out of several. So these guys actually have quite a lot of health to my memory. I think they're... They're Dodongos, aren't they? Yeah. They're kind of small Dodongos. Maybe they're not true Dodongos. Maybe they're like a baby version. Yeah, but Dodongos have already always had a lot of health. He's just more of a weird gecko looking thing. I mean, Dodongos were always lizard like, but that's a bit too lizard like. It just looks like a lizard, that's it. Doesn't look like a cross between some weird dinosaur. But anyway, it, at the very least it follows the same idea, or the same principle as a Dodongo. It has a has one part of it that's actually attackable on the tail, has a lot of health and breathes fire. Yeah, sounds like a Dodongo to me. Fortunately, I don't have any bombs to bomb said Dodongo. But, um, yeah, we don't always have to follow the... Uh, I guess I've had the opportunity to attack more than once there. That's terrible. Look how much faster that was. I guess I'm a little bit stuck in my ways in terms of fighting Dodongos from Majora's Mask and Ocarina of Time. Primarily Majora's Mask, but yeah, generally you can only hit them once and then they like turn around. Alright, there we go, there's that one dead. And these guys don't explode, so that helps. Maybe they're not Dodongos, maybe they're just similar to them. It is strange that you would have something so similar to a Dodongo that isn't actually a Dodongo, though. So we need to put these on, I believe, and then pull this using R. I mean, to me... Now, I'm not a physicist, and you people realise this. Actually, that... that yeah, right, that pulls back. Uh, but yeah, I'm not a physicist... Uh, that <laughs> uh, if I would have made that, I would have died, so I guess it's a good thing that I didn't make it there. Alright, I know what to do, Midna, but you can give me a hint anyway. Oh, great, looks like our path is blocked again. Can't you be a little more timely? Figure out the timing for when those flame pillars retract. That's when you make your move. Well, I suppose that's a good piece of advice. Um, but that's not a good tactic that I just chose to employ there. I.e. just falling into the lava. I mean, good good job, Doom Link. You're doing very well. Anyway, hearts, please. This is why I didn't lift all of the rocks. This is my secret technique. Secret, because I didn't mention it, but anyway. <laughs> Let's just, uh... Hopefully receive something in here. In these barrels that we have already broken. That's why I'm a little bit concerned by... This. And by this... Okay, there we go, there's a heart. You know what I mean by this. But yeah, Minna did have a good piece of advice there to just kind of time it specifically to when these fire pillars are there and not there. But I think I did time it kind of well anyway, I was just being a bit of an idiot. Anyway, I'm pretty sure we do need... Oh no, we don't need the... boots on. But anyway, uh, as I was saying before, I am by no means a physicist, but... I was thinking that, if you think about it, maybe if I do that, it stops. Yeah, okay. Just need a watch there. Off we go. Uh, but yeah, I am by no means a physicist, but surely putting on heavy boots would make it harder. <sighs> it would make it harder to move backwards, so therefore it wouldn't actually work. 
Uh, I'm going to cut, by the way, because that's just fucking stupid. <laughs> Alright, so I'm back, everyone. Hi, hopefully I don't do stupid things again and fall into lava and such. That's why we need to properly orientate ourselves before jumping. Nice idea! Well, obviously, when I'm in a situation where I'm trying to rush, I am just going to do strange things like that. That's why I just have to kind of get used to the situation. But anyway, I guess this is our first introduction to these magnetic... Uh, magnetic surfaces, which are kind of... I mean, we can put on these boots and get attracted to these magnetic surfaces, but... Of course, we have to be underneath them to begin with to actually uh, manage to do that. But what we can do here is actually put our boots on and walk under here. I guess we should step on this as well. Now that the wall, that's that helps quite a lot. Uh, but anyway, is that okay? It's not really going to let us uh, change the camera there. Okay, so that's cool. I like how that works. And is that going to allow us to? I don't know. Is there another access point into this room? Like a door? Yeah, there is a door over there, so we can probably... But they can... what would the... then again, what would the purpose of that be? Maybe there's a door above this one as well. I'm thinking we might... oh no, we're not moving back into that room. Who's this guy? He's like a smoking volcano. Ah, oh, I thought I felt a presence, but what a surprise to find a young human. Word has come of... Uh, word has come to me of you. And if Gor Koron has faith in you, then your heart must be true. I am one of the four Goron elders. Gor Amoto is my name. You are heroic, young human. Please, you must lend this tribe your power. You got a key shard. I totally forgot about these. I'm telling you, I did not realize that these existed. But anyway, you got a key shard. You need all three shards to return the big or to return the big key to its original shape. Well, that's really quite interesting. What is one of the key shards that... Oh, that is one... I need to give up. I don't care. I don't care anymore. I really don't. Dungeon map? Remember, the first chest always has a dungeon map. That is the... That is the rule. Uh, but anyway. Yeah, I don't know why I can't read, everyone. I'm scratching my forehead. I apologize. Uh, how long have I been recording for? Uh, well, I have been recording for 30 minutes, so I guess I've got another... 10 or 15 minutes to continue recording here. I have yet to find Uku. Oh, I'm not allowed to uh, <laughs> draw my sword in here, which is fair enough. It's always good to be respectful. I'm guessing this is going to allow us to access another level now. Or something? I don't know. Let's have a look. What I'm thinking is this is going to allow us to move through a different like through a door that was above the one that we exited out of in the other area. I thought so. I just had a feeling. Oh, there we go. Speak of the devil. Wouldn't Link be a little bit more terrified by the fact that the pot just exploded for no reason? Phew, free at last. Gracious, you're that nice fellow who helped me out the other day. How nice to see you again. Well, now that we've found each other... Oh, again... Let's stick together for a bit, hmm? I'll be right with you, so if you want to warp out, just let me know. Alright, we have reunited with uh, Blue Nipple Lady. Uh, but anyway, uh, Blue Nipples are great. Not really, that's not something I'm into personally. But if you're into that, then sure. Now, I don't really know where her son is located. I would assume that it's similar to her in the way that if we do see a pot, it will be shaking or wiggling around. Um, I guess we can't use the slingshot here, which is kind of sad. It'd be funny if we could do a finishing move. That would be rather entertaining indeed. Anyway, let's go down here. Like, how cool is this? This is why this game is just so great. I mean, to start with, we're using iron boots to walk upside down and on walls. To start with, that's amazing. Additionally, the boss key situation is different to how it is normally. We have to collect... Uh, several key shards, which is great, great uh, little aspect of this dungeon to give it some uniqueness. I mean, this is just such a great game, I forgot how great it was. I mean, I knew that this was one of my favourites for sure, but 
I'm starting to understand once again why it is one of my favorites. It's among my top three. Oh, look, we're back here again. I'm well, not really back here, but back in a situation where we are climbing on this thing. It is kind of difficult to get a sense of perspective when you're moving upside down, I think. But, um, yeah, anyway. So I guess I just need to follow the map here. I'll go in this direction first. My only concern with this is that it takes a while to really move around. So... Attack him, please. But yeah, I suppose we just need to deal with that. Of course, we're not going to go all the way to the end here. We're just going to drop down when I know that we're definitely going to be dropping onto land because I don't want to mess that up. This, oh, I was about to say the chest looks a bit different, but it's the glow of the light, I think, that makes it look different. Look at that. Excellent. So now we've got a new heart container. Thank you very much. That's one of the heart containers that I wanted, I guess, from this dungeon. I'm glad I managed to get that. Nice and easily. So anyway, um, would be nice if I got a compass soon, so that would make it easier to find where a piece of heart would be located, because there's usually... Well, I don't know. Quite often there's more than one in a single dungeon. At the very least, in the first dungeon there are two, so... I would imagine if the first dungeon has two, then it would make sense for there to be at least two in the next one, but... Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know these things. You think I know? Anyway, uh, once again, we're going to follow the map here. Kind of shows us the path that we want to be following here kind of snakes around in the corner here. Once again, it is kind of annoying that we have to move so slowly here, but... Well, we don't really have an alternative alternative option, do we? So which way do we want to go? Is there any... That's a dead end down there, isn't it? Isn't it? And we don't drop on anything important, so we want to go this way. And we can see, just over there, the ledge that we want to fall on. And that will give us access to a door, it seems. According to the map, anyway. Mm, God, I'm rubbing my tongue on the roof of my mouth again and it feels great! It's not just rubbing the tongue, actually, it's like... It's kind of sucking... the tongue onto the, um onto the roof of the mouth. I don't, I can't really explain it. If you've done it before, you know how amazing it is, but... Hmm. It's kind of, um, the moment in time where you feel that you want to do it is when you have the sensation to sneeze. Oh man, it's powerful. Uh, but anyway... The, the, uh... Anyway. <laughs> I'm kind of like out of it now after that. Whenever I do that, I just feel that the world is happy again. <laughs> um, guess I can finish you. Let's do that. I wonder if the finishing move can actually work on multiple enemies at once. At once, that would be interesting. He's dead, and he's dead. Uh, I guess I don't really like how everything's all fuzzy here because of the the lava, but whatever. I'm sure you guys can see it. I guess we'll keep our boots on. Is that going to come to us, or...? Alright, oh, I remember this. So now it's spinning around, so we can use this as something to transport us. Is that going to come here? No, that's not going to do that. Alrighty then. Let's just stand here and wait for it to return. Hi there. Where are you going to take me, sir? I'll just see where you go in the other direction first, and then... I'll determine which I want to fall onto first. Uh, I think I'll go here first, just because... Uh, this could, uh, Actually, no, this returns us to... Okay, this isn't where we wanted to go after all. This just kind of returns us to the... Uh, the place where we entered from the first time we came to this room, so we don't actually want to go through there. Through that door. Alright, here we go again. <sighs> I still don't really understand how Link's hat can 
remain on him, on his person, but that's always been a question that people have asked when it comes to Zelda. How is it that Link's hat never falls off? I do need to kind of get used to spinning around and... You need to do a full revolution of the analog stick before you can... Anyway, I'm not going to do it. You guys don't need to hear my con my controller making silly noises in the background. Here's the next thing, which is going to take us on an adventure. Right, down we go. Hello. How are you going? I want to have an opportunity to finish you off. Not what I wanted. Oh, fine. Oh, fucking titty. Whatever. Let's just do that. Doesn't matter. I wanted to f do the little finishing move, but fine. It's okay. I didn't have my heart set on it or anything. Jeez. Thanks, game, for ruining my dreams. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so is there anything else left for us up here? It doesn't really look like it. It does look like there's more going on up here. I mean, look at that. You've got another magnet thing, but I guess we'll just... Does that go somewhere? It, that just goes to two places, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks like it. So, I don't really know. So, I guess we just need to go through this door and that's it. We may or may not return there. I am not sure. Oh, look. My old friend, the Tektites. These guys are... They have to be Tektites. I can't be making that up. Look at them. They are so Tektites. Oh, God, hi. They don't seem to have quite as much... Well, then again... Don't they... It's either they take a lot of hits, or they deal a lot of damage in some game. I, don't, I can't remember which one that is, but anyway. Uh, we'll probably go into the water first and go and get this chest. I'm going to guess that this is a compass, which is an item that I've been wanting to get. Come on. No, that is a key. I will take that key, and I will treasure it. Get it because I took it out of a treasure chest? <gasps> yeah, anyway. I'm sure you were laughing, I'm just... Uh, I can't hear you across time and space, but I'm sure you were laughing. Uh, just to start with here... Oh, get up there, quick. Oh, Jesus, that looked like it was even higher up there than I thought. Anyway, um, I guess we want to... What do we want to do here? Why would moving this be good? What would be the purpose in moving this? Huh? I don't get it. Is there anything to give us air? No. Get up. Get out. Get out, get out. Go, 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 go. Go, go, do it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I don't really know why we wanted to move that. Why did, why did we want to move that? Maybe that was so that we could enter through that way? I'm, I'm not sure. But anyway, let's just go up to the top here. And... Well, we don't really want a heart, so I guess we don't want one. Yeah. I don't want one, so I don't want one. That's how wanting works, everyone. I'm just... Teaching you more and more things about the world. Uh, I'm probably going to end the video in a minute. I would say that soon it will be a good time for me to do such a thing. Um, but yeah, so I don't know if there's anything else that we needed to do do down there. Probably, actually. If you think about it. <laughs> if you think about it. But um, I suppose I'll be able to survey it from up here. Is there anything down there? There must be something. Yeah, what is that? Can I hit that with this? Probably. Come on. That didn't do shit. Okay, well... <laughs> okay, well, let's just step... Let's just step on this. Alright, cool. That works well. Now, this is pretty cool. I, I quite enjoy this, because what we need to do here is we need to drop off that, or by that I mean this. Oh, that's not actually correct. We want to drop more here. And then by dropping here, we're going to be able to smash onto this. Is that cool or is that cool? Yeah, I think it's cool too. Alrighty, so where, <laughs> where are we drop dropping exactly? Uh, yeah, well, we can drop, so that's cool. Uh, let's go and open this chest. Rupees, I'm guessing. Yeah. 
Well, I'm not going to complain because I don't have Max yet, so... Oh, there we go. Cool. Because I hit it again, is that going to close now? I hope not. No, it's not. Alright, cool. So it turns out that there actually wasn't anything for us to do down here, so that's good to know. <gasps> Jesus Christ, that's terrible. Oh, great, we got to go all the way back there again now. Exciting, exciting. I'll let you guys witness this process because I'm sure that is very exciting for you. Anyway, um, you know what? I'll probably end the video here, guys, because I don't want these videos to be kind of like, uh, how do I say, unequal in terms of their length. So I like to, when I make a two-in-one recording, I like to have both videos that are, that will be split up from the single recording to more or less be close to equal in length. So yeah, I'm going to try and manage that. And yeah, I think this is a good time for me to end the video. So I will see you guys next time. I'm going to continue recording. And um, yeah, I'll see you later. So long.